Today we're going to discuss celebrating uniqueness. Our celebration is about the differences and the similarities of race. We start with looking at how young our children are when they begin to understand that there is a difference. Where we want to head with this, where we want to end up with this, we want to be on a path, a trajectory of peace, of unity, of reconciliation. How much we work together, how well we work together depends on how much effort we do as parents to model this for our children. They look at what they see more than what we say. So parents, if we're reaching across the aisle, if we're having relationships with people of different ethnicities, it becomes almost natural and seamless for our children to do the same kinds of things. So our heart in this hour is to bring us together closer. And we do that, we do that by being an example for our children. When we think about our infants and toddlers, researchers tell us as early as two to three years old, they are already showing signs that they recognize differences. So this is the time that we can use tools like picture books, dolls to help them see the uniqueness and yet the commonalities of each other. And then we move into our elementary school children who are already in an environment that have conversations about differences and so similarities. And so parents, we wanna have conversations with them. We wanna to talk to them about race. It's not something that we should fear or be afraid to talk about. Our high schoolers, they're exposed to so much media from Twitter to Facebook, and a lot of that information on there is not factual. A lot of that information separates more so than bring together. And that's the time that we can sit down around our dinner tables and we can have conversations with our children about how unified we really are. And so we join activities, we set an environment, we bring our kids to places that they can volunteer and help solve the issues that this world sees as a problem. Parents, we model for our kids. We put ourselves in environments that we are with people of different ethnicities and they follow that because children really do. They follow us more than what we say, they do what they see. Here's an opportunity now that we can bring families together. This is an opportunity now that we can lead our children by example to look for unity, to look for peace, to look for opportunities that they themselves can be a part of being together as a group that have respect for one another, that also at the same time celebrate. And we keep using that, that word celebrate because that's exactly what we should be doing. From the heart of God, from the very beginning to where we are now, that's his heart that we be unified together. Our churches is a wonderful place for this to begin. At our churches, we have different ethnicities and we can reach across the aisles to be together, to show that in fact, this is what we think is important in this world today. Our goal is to have our children on a journey that unites, that brings peace, and that allows them to embrace each other around the very same similarities and the differences that we've discussed.